大龍島執事の国ウマゴ、his AAA is minus 12 but can transition into warrior's focus, so I recommend using a 12 frame mid if you have one. You can also use an auto GI for horizontal mids to be the last hit, but depending on your auto GI, this might lose to his AAB. Or you can use a normal GI to be the last hit, and that will also beat his AAB. It is also possible to interrupt the last hit with a 12 frame attack, but you need the 10 frame attack to also beat his AAB. You can interrupt all warriors' focus attacks after Hao Maru his AAA6 with a 12 frame attack. You should use a mid, even though none of his warriors' focus attacks tech crouch, the stance on its own will. So, if he delays his attacks and you use the high attack, you will get hit, as you can see here. Or you can sidestep and then duck to beat all options, but this only applies if he doesn't delay any of his attacks. How Maru his AAB is minus 14 on block, but you should use a 14 frame kick to punish him because he has the option to use an auto GI for high and mid attacks except for kicks after staggers. The last hit of his AAB can also be sidestepped to either side. If you step and then guard, you should also be able to block in time should he decide to use his AAA instead. You can also use an auto GI for vertical mids to beat the last hit, but again, depending on your character's auto GI, this might lose to his AAA. And like I mentioned before, you can also use a normal GI to beat the last hit of both his AAB and his AAA. Or if you have access to it, you can also use a 10 frame attack to interrupt the last hit, which will also beat his AAA. If you do not use kicks to block punish his AAB, this will happen to you should Hao Maru use his auto GI after staggers. But if you expect him to go for the auto GI, you can punish him with everything between I-16 and I-60 and even get break attack lethal hits. How Maru his 6A is minus 10 on block but can be cancelled into any Ronin technique, so I recommend not trying to block punish it. How Maru his 3A is minus 12 on block but will leave him in crouch, meaning high attacks won't work as a block punish. If you play one of the characters that has access to a low throw, you can attempt one after blocking his 3A. Haomaru, his 1A, is minus 14 on block, but yet again will leave him in a crouching position. Which of course also means that you may attempt to low throw him after blocking this move as well. The last hit of Haomaru, his BBB, can be sidestepped to either side by characters such as Terra, Shangpa, Cassandra, Hilde, Cervantes, Siegfried, Sasalami, Mina or Ivy. You can also use an auto GI for vertical mid attacks to beat the last hit. And although you got better options, you can also use a normal GI to beat the last hit as well. It is also possible to interrupt the last hit if you play a character that has access to a 10 frame attack. Haomaru, his BK, is a low kick that is minus 12 on block. 
You can interrupt all warriors' focus attacks after Haomaru hits 6p6 with a 12 frame attack. If possible, do not use high attacks because, as I told you before, warriors focus on its own tech crouches. Or you can also sidestep and then duck, but again, this will not work if Haomaru delays his attacks. How Maru his 3B is a mid launcher that is minus 14 on block. His 1B is a low poke with tons of range that is minus 12 on block and might even leave you too far away to block punish him. How Maru his while rising B is minus 14 on block but can be cancelled into all Ronin techniques so I do not recommend to try and block punish it. How Maru his 2K or full crouch K is a low kick that is minus 14 on block and will leave him in a crouching position. Which of course also means that you may attempt to low throw him after blocking it. His 1k is a low kick that is minus 14 on block. Haomaru, his B plus K or while rising B plus K is a stagger attack that is minus 14 on block, so use a kick to punish him. But again, if you suspect that he will use the auto GI, you can use everything between I16 and I60 to punish him or get your break attack lethal hit. His 2B plus K or full crouch B plus K is the same as all his other staggers. Use a 14 frame kick attack to block punish it. Or call him out for attempting to use the auto GI with a I16 up to I60 move or get your break attack lethal hit. Haomaru his 66A is a horizontal mid attack that is minus 12 on block. His 2-2A is minus 12 on block but has two different follow-ups that can't be interrupted and can also transition into Warrior's focus. Haomaru his 2-2AA is minus 16 on block. You can also use an auto GI for horizontal low attacks to beat the second hit, but this will most likely lose to the other various options he has after his 2-2A. You can also use a normal GI to beat the second hit, which will also beat his 2-2AB, but lose to his warrior's focus attacks. Or you can use a jump attack to beat the second hit of his 2-2AA, but unfortunately this will lose to everything else. Haomaru, his 2-2-A-B, is minus 14 on block. You can sidestep the second hit. Some characters such as Jolly Satira, Shangfa, Hilde and Siegfried can step it to either side. Or you can use an auto GI for vertical mids to beat the second hit, but this will most likely lose to his 2-2-AA and 2-2-A6 options. And like I mentioned, you can also use a normal GI to beat both his 2-2-AB and his 2-2-AA. Haomaru his 2-2-A6 options can be interrupted with an I-16 attack, which should preferably be a mid. But this will get you hit by his 2-2-A-A and his 2-2-A-B. Or you can sidestep and then duck, which will beat Undelete Warrior's focus options, but also his 2-2-A-B. Haomaru his 4-4-A is minus 12 from block and leaves him in crouch, but can also be cancelled into any Ronin technique, so I don't recommend attempting to block punish it. And because he will be left in crouch, you can also attempt a low throw, but this will also lose to his various Ronin techniques. 
how Maru his 66B is minus 10 on block but can also be cancelled into any Ronin technique. His 22B is minus 14 on block. His 66B plus K is a stagger attack, which is minus 14 on block and should be punished with kick attacks. Or if you think he will use his auto GI after it, you can use anything from I-16 up to I-60 to punish him or get your break attack lethal hit. Haomaru, his 2-2B plus K is minus 12 on block. And his running K, just like most, is minus 22 on block. Haomaru, his 236A or 6A plus B, is a projectile that is minus 10 on block if you block it point blank. If you GI it while right in front of him, you have 24 frames to punish him. It becomes safer the further away you GI the attack. His 236A hold or 6A plus B hold can be interrupted with an I-12 mid attack. If you use a slower attack, you might get auto GI'd. And it shouldn't be a high attack because of his bare knuckle down, which will evade high attacks. And slower high attacks can also be evaded by his bare knuckle 6-6 or 4-4. Haomaru, his 623A is minus 10 on block. This applies to the just frame and the normal version. His 623B or 2A plus B is minus 18 on block. Haomaru, his 623K is minus 14 on block but becomes safer the further away he is when performing it. It also has a follow-up in Soul Charge, Max Rage and Rage Explosion. His 421B or 8A plus B is minus 14 on block and will leave you in crouch. Haomaru, his Warrior's Focus B is minus 12 on block but has a follow-up that cannot be interrupted. But you can duck the second hit of his Warrior's Focus B A. And of course, you can also duck the second hit of his Warrior's Focus B A hold, which will transition into Bare Knuckle Stance. You can interrupt Bare Knuckle follow ups with an I 12 kick. Do not use kicks, and you might get auto GI'd. His bare knuckle K will also tech jump low attacks. He can still evade your high kick, but you should be safe from being punished. You can also sidestep and then guard to evade everything but his bare knuckle A, which you block. But here as well, this will not work if he delays his attacks. Haomaru, his warrior focus K is minus 22 on block, but has a follow up that cannot be interrupted. His Warrior's Focus KA is minus 16 on block. If you block the low, you can also use an Auto GI for horizontal mid attacks to beat the second hit. Or, of course, you also have the option to use a normal GI. You can interrupt Haomaru after his bare knuckle A hold with an I-12 kick. Although your kick might whiff against his bare knuckle K if you are too far away.
If you do not use kicks, his auto GI will beat you. And even though he can still evade your 12 frame kick, you should be safe from being punished. You can also sidestep guard to evade everything but his bare knuckle A, which you should still block. But again, this will not work should he delay his attacks. How Maru, his bare knuckle K is minus 16 on block, but turns into minus 12 if he hits you at tip range. His max rage, 623B, is minus 18 on block. The second hit of How Maru, his max rage, 623KK, can be GI'd. How Maru, his reversal edge A, is a stagger attack, which is minus 14 on block and should be punished with a kick attack. If you suspect that he will use his auto GI after you blocked his reverse ledge A, you can use everything from I-16 up to I-60 to punish him, or use a break attack to get the lethal hit. Haomaru, his critical edge is minus 38 on block. Every single hit of his critical edge also does quite a bit of ship damage, but the entire string also jails so you should at least attempt to just call it. The last hit of How Maru his soul attack is minus 14 on block. Much like his critical edge, his soul attack also jails except for the last two hits, so you should also attempt to just guard this one. The last hit can also be sidestepped to either side by characters such as Terra, Shankra, Cassandra, Hilde, Cervantes, Siegfried, Saslamel, Mina and Ivy. You can also use an auto GI for vertical mid attacks to beat the last hit of a soul attack. And you can also use a normal GI to beat the second last hit, but he also has the option to cancel the hit before this one into any Ronin technique, so it is somewhat risky. Or you also have the option to use a normal GI to beat the last hit. You can interrupt how Maru his various focus attacks after his soul charge AABB6 with a 12 frame mid attack. You shouldn't use high attacks because warriors focus on its own tech crouches. Or you can also sidestep and then duck which will beat all options as long as how Maru doesn't delay any of his attacks. Haomaru, his warrior's focus attacks after his soul charge 6-6 B plus K B6 can also be interrupted with a 12 frame mid attack. 
And of course, here as well, you can sidestep and then duck to beat all undelayed follow-ups. Haomaru, his soul charge 236A projectile, is minus 16 on block if you block it point blank. And if you GI the attack, you will have a 24 frame opening to punish him. The further away you are when GIing it, the less frame advantage you will have. You can interrupt all of Haomaru his bare knuckle follow ups after his soul charge 236A hold with an 18 frame mid attack. The second hit of Haomaru his soul charge 623KBB can be sidestepped to your right by characters such as Tira, Shangfa, Cassandra, Siegfried, and Mina. You also have the option to use an auto GI for vertical mid attacks to beat the second hit. Or you can simply GI the second hit normally. Haomaru, his soul charge 623A plus B is minus 28 on block and will also leave him airborne until frame 18 which means that you will be able to get your anti-air lethal hit when playing as Terra. Haomaru his max rage 6A plus B plus K or 236B plus K is minus 28 on block. And his Rage Explosion 6A plus B plus K or 236B plus K is basically the same, meaning also minus 28 on block. Haomaru his Rage Explosion 4A plus B plus K is minus 26 on block. You can sidestep the second hit of Haomaru his Rage Explosion 623k BBB to your right with characters such as Tira, Shankwa, Cassandra, Mina and Siegfried. Or you can also sidestep the last hit to either side with characters such as Tira, Shankwa, Hilde, Siegfried, Sasleme, Mina and Ivy. And you can also use an auto GI for vertical mid attacks to beat the second hit. Or just use a normal GI to beat the second hit. <laughs> 